What? It's me. It's me. Don't bite me. Woo! I'm, I'm like super geeked up. <laughs> I'm super geeked out on all this stuff right now. I don't know how long or how all over the place this video is going to be, but if you guys are down, let's just roll with it. If I were to die tomorrow, I would leave behind a mountain of debt. Yes, financial debt, but also the debt of a father who has yet to finish raising his children. A husband who has yet to truly show his wife how much her companionship means by growing old with her for decades to come. An audience of people whose lives I have not finished touching and inspiring with my words, images, and music. I take solace in the thought that everything I've worked so hard at these past years will echo through eternity and carry on without me. At least I can hope. I have not been the most responsible person in my life, nor have I shirked my responsibilities completely. I like to think that I maintain a balance between doing what I need to do to fulfill my physical reality and also fulfill my spirit. Hello! Ha! Oh, shit! 100% that did not go the way I planned it. I just... <laughs> I didn't have it connected to my phone, so like it's it goes through Bluetooth and it, it just uh, the profile wasn't set right, so I yeah. So I wear a helmet. So my whole purpose of that intro, like I recorded that and wrote that I, before I got this one wheel with the intention of uh, I don't know what, like thinking that uh, I think I was like trying to justify spending the money on it. And for whatever reason, uh, that is what popped out of my brain while thinking about, like, I could be spending this money on something that's maybe less irresponsible. Uh-oh. Yeah. But... I like it, and I'm having lots of fun. I think the value I'm getting out of this thing isn't a type of uh, thing you can put into monetary form. So anyway, I've, I've got a message that I want to bring to you guys, and that's that do what makes you happy, man. Do the things that make you happy, and life is too short to just always worry about complete responsibility. <laughs> I, don't, I feel like this is not a good message for some people. I feel like this was maybe not the right time to do this because this is the time when there's all kinds of cars on these roads that aren't necessarily here other times of the day, but it's great lighting right now, so it's just one of those things. You know what, Let, no, let's, let's go to the high school. There's no cars there. Just kidding, there's lots of cars at the high school too, but this is a dead end road, so the number of cars coming up this thing should be pretty slim. Man, this is freaking cool, man. Only problem with this thing right now is that I've got nobody to ride with. What did you guys think about that intro video though? I'm curious. I, I would really like to know uh, if you enjoyed it, regardless of what it was that caused me to make it. <laughs> because I, I'd like to make more things like that in the future, um, maybe with better reasons behind them, but yeah. Honestly, it really is probably the worst time of day to be out there riding around because of the car situation. But it's the best lighting of the day. But the best time to go ride this thing is really at night. When like one in the morning, there's no cars anywhere. It's just smooth streets, no cars. Mm. Oh well, at least we got out for a little bit. I do, our Burmese Python rock sand did just shed out. So I want to show you guys that. I thought maybe we could take a look at that uh, African bullfrog, that pixie frog that we picked up at the San Jose show and get a nice detailed look at that little dude. Oh, and, and my awesome lighting setup showed up as well, so we'll check that out. <laughs> huh. So those of you who've been to my house and know how steep my driveway actually is, freaking insane, right? Things badass. It's a good thing I've got lots of skateboarding running experience for all the bailing I need to do. Yeah. Okay, Burmese Python. And really Slight detour. We're taking a little family walk real quick, and then, uh, and then, then snake and frog, frog and snake, snake and frog, frog and snake, 
Snake and frogs, frogs and snakes. <laughs> What's happening with frogs? Frogs and snakes. <laughs> yeah, it's really nice. Oh, is it nice? Yeah. Oh, sweet. So that that was oh. that was what that was what I at the beginning of this video I put that. And the reason I put it, the reason I like, what made me think about it was <laughs> like a guilt, pre guilt trip of buying the one wheel. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you think about that? So if you die, I'm gonna say, you one wheel, throw it in the ocean. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> You're one wheel, I'm gonna throw it in the ocean. Triple change of plans, we're riding. <laughs> All right, this is where the real entertainment value of this video is going to come into play. Hillary is going to attempt to ride the one wheel for the first time. <laughs> How are you feeling about it? I'm going to eat it. I'm afraid. But at least I'll be on the ground. I feel like I need, like maybe I can hold on to this while I get stable. Oh, give me a break. Because I was so wobbly last time. Yeah, but you grew up surfing. You shouldn't Yeah, but this is different. It's a wobbly snowboard on land you know i don't think you need to hold on to something okay well she didn't fall so much for entertainment What's up? You gotta come see these. Hey Noah. What? What do you know? I know. Bees. What about bees? That they can sting you and they're venomous and they drink nectar with a little straw thing and they have a queen and a hive and they make honey and that's all I know. How was it, Mommy? Good, a lot better on grass. Um, yeah. Everyone, follow like, me. It's, I feel like the same muscles when I'm snowboarding. Like I feel like, because I don't like to go super fast, I put so much weight in my heels that it's like, I get like a back here. Now I ain't missed a nine to five, I don't hear it in my song. I'm gonna pull my weight, don't get me wrong. Brand new start and a whole new part, they are big old shoes to fill. I'll be there on that platform, babe. No, I will. Well, I guess it's Hillary's one wheel now. Let's ride this train. I swear we're gonna go back and check out my Burmese python. She's just been, uh, she stole my board and she's having too much fun on it now. But I do like that she's getting the hang of it because I, I would eventually like to get two of these things and be able to ride with everybody. Huh, Mushi? Hey, Scrammy! What? What do you know? I know. One wheel. One wheel? Yeah. What about one wheel? That it has. It's called one wheel and that's all I know. What? What the one wheel? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's so check it out. I'm still gonna play with a bunch of uh, different gels back here. Like I'm probably gonna change that to a blue gel and that to a blue gel too, so it's not so warm looking. And then of course the things, but oh <laughs> ready? 
Zoof. Freaking light, dude. Look at this thing. Look at a beast of a thing, dude. It's, it's a beast. Look at this. It's got this own power pack to it. It's just... Oh, man. It's about to get, like, real, real, real in here. Okay, okay, yes, yes, the berm. Of course, Roxanne. There's her fresh shed, just shed out. Beautiful, beautiful. And we're gonna hang out with her and stuff and focus and good and, okay. Are you ready to come hang out with me? Look at her, she's like, yeah, I'm ready, what, what? I'm ready, what? It's me, it's me. Don't bite me. Good girl. Good girl. Woo! <laughs> yes, we get scared, we're mortals. Uh, I honestly thought that she had kind of like given up on talking to me ever again, so I'm glad she's talking now. Because we like to hear you talk, Roxanne, even if you're trying to tell us that you are not necessarily the big, biggest fan of what's going on. And still let us know that you, you have a mind of your own and you can't be bought. And you're just here to help us spread the awareness that snakes are cool as hell. Especially ones that talk to you. Especially ones that give you words of encouragement and wisdom and... I don't know if that was encouragement, but... Such a freaking gorgeous snake. Though I love when a snake has a fresh shed. I think most people keep snakes really do... Can, can relate to that sentiment, but... Oh, man! That is a gorgeous snake right there. What do you think about these light rocks, Sam? What do you think about that? It's making you look amazing. It's making us look amazing together. Woo! Oh, freaking beautiful snake, dude. Go ahead, get your get your headshot in. Get your headshot in there. Show him what's up. Roxanne has a sweetheart. And she's also done. Bye! Thanks for hanging out. And here's our little Bufo friend. Say hi, Bufo friend. Say hi, Boof Boof. Look at that guy. He's freaking cool, man. He hasn't eaten yet. I don't know if he's like a vegan SJW or whatever's going on with him, but he just, he hasn't eaten. Uh, no pinky mice, he hasn't been into it yet, but I mean, it doesn't look like he's in danger of losing weight. If any of you guys got little super feeding tips or tricks like for for these little guys and then I'm all about them. Riley I'm sure you've got some. I know you got one of these little dudes. Um I guess I could just call you. <laughs> How freaking cool is that little guy though? Such a freaking little hog nose nugget. Not a hog nose, what am I talking about? So supposedly supposedly these guys are awesome. And I, I think I can agree with it. I can't wait for him to get as big as a dinner plate. That would be freaking awesome. Dude! He's a little bullfrog guy. Check him out. He's a friend. He's cool. He's awesome. Look at that light. Look at that light. Come on. Can we give it up for the light? Can we please just give it up for the light? There's no way we'd be looking at this guy in such awesome detail on this camera if it wasn't for that light that he's looking at right now. And then with the purple background right now too. Oh. Oh, oh, Brian's geeking out again. Brian's geeking out hard. Brian can't help it. Ooh. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. How freaking sweet is that? You know, we got, we got one more snake that actually just shed out. Hold on a second. That's right. It's our homegirl, Beatrice. Beatrice the Mochino. <laughs> oh. It's, it's lovely to have raised up these little snakes from babies. I don't need to worry about them going on my face like that. Huh. Huh. We're, we're awesome. We kick ass. Yep, there it is, guys. I'm geeked out on the light. Uh... Oh! <laughs>
<laughs> I mean, look, look. It was like, I don't tell, I can't see a difference at all, dude. I see no difference from like any other video you've ever done. The light's always pretty decent. Fine, fine, fine. As long as I can tell, that's what really counts. So, I, I, if you like this video, go ahead and let me know in the comment down below. I don't know if I'll ever be able to recreate this. I feel like it was way all over the place today, just like vlog central going nowhere fast disco. But <laughs> that's what we do sometimes around here. Hmm? I will see you all on the next video, which is going to be us uh, doing an update on Hillary's anxiety stuff. Now that we've got the big fat light, we're going to go set it up upstairs. It's going to be awesome. It's going to kick ass. Aloha.